Okay, so we're trying to find, what are we doing here? Trying to find the area of something. It says use the fact that the total area of the object is one to find the area of the third bar. The object has not been drawn to scale. So if the area is one, then let's see. Total area of the object is one. Well, we can find the area of each one of these things. Okay, so I see, we don't know the height of the red bar. So we're gonna have to use the complement idea, the complement, right? So we're gonna find the area of all the blue bars and then subtract that from one. So we'll do like one, so we could say something like that the area of the red bar is gonna be equal one minus the area of blue bars. blue or green I think that's green but anyway is that green <laughs> we'll go with green but that's how you do it so the green bars we, we know that the area is equal to base times height so the total area is going to be 0 0.04 times 4 that's the first one plus 0 0.05 times 4 that's the second bar and actually there's three there's there's two of those there's this one and this one so i'm just going to multiply that times two so that's going to be my total that's going to be the area of all the green or blue bars so what's this 0.16 what's this plus 0.4 Eight forty uh point four seems right, so this is about point fifty six, so the area of the red bar the red bar area is gonna be equal to one minus point fifty six, which equals point forty four. And that's how you do it. Assuming all my <laughs> math is correct there. Did that in my head. But that's the process. You got to do the complement, right? So we call this the complement. Complement. We're going to do the complement. So since all the area of the whole thing equals 1, you just do 1 minus the blue to get the red. That's it.